low cost stack that I like a lot in week one is Teddy Bridgewater to DJ Moore. Teddy's getting a lot of love out of Carolina. He fits in this scheme. That's all great news. They're also facing a Vegas secondary that should be beatable in a game with a 46 and a half point over under. And DJ Moore makes the most sense as the stack with Teddy Bridgewater, given the fact that he's coming off that sophomore year where he had a 22% target share in 15 games. He should be the top target, maybe aside from Christian McCaffrey in that offense. So I like the two of them as a low cost option in week one. I also like Jimmy Garoppolo throwing the rock to George Kittle. You know, they're facing an Arizona secondary and defense in week one that gave up the most schedule adjusted fantasy points to the tight end position last year. And there's a lot of banged up wide receivers in that San Francisco offense. So George Kittle should see a lot of targets. But then on top of that, in the two games against Arizona last year, the 49ers and Cardinals averaged over 57 total points per game. And they were the two best fantasy outings for Jimmy Garoppolo. So I love Jimmy Garoppolo to George Kittle in week one. And then the last stack that you can go to, Russell Wilson to DK Metcalf. It's a fairly obvious one. They're facing Atlanta. It's an inexperienced secondary. But then on top of that, it has a 49 and a half point over under. There should be a lot of scoring. Russell Wilson is rightfully one of the most expensive quarterbacks on the main slate. But DK Metcalf is a really nice value at $6,400. So I really like that stack of Russell Wilson to DK Metcalf.